Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I decided today to do a little quarantine vlog and I really wanted to start doing this vlog so much earlier today and then my plans went down the drill because I woke up and I was talking with my parents and they told me that the post office was going to close tomorrow because of the Eastern holiday and I was freaking out because I have some orders to ship and I tried to answer, it was the first time that I left the house in four weeks but I couldn't ship anything because most of the post offices were closed or wasn't accepting any other shipments so because I was hurrying to go to the post office I did this makeup really quick and when I come back I just curled a little bit of my hair to look more presentable and I'm just starting the vlog after the lunch so I'm sorry it's not like a full day vlog but I have something that I really want to do today that I think is going to take a lot of time and probably is going to fill this vlog which is these nails I have gel nails okay so I always go somewhere to get my nails done and quarantine happened so no gel, I tried to remove this and do it with regular nail polish on top It's awful, it doesn't last And I thought, what if I just order like a gel kit and try to do gel nails at home? I ordered it and it arrived yesterday So I'm going to try to do gel nails at home this afternoon Also clearly I need to make my bed still So I just got a package from Storage. How cute is this? Lately Storage has been like my favorite brand then we have this skirt over here, pleated skirts are my thing, you know I love them so much and this one is so pretty. Then we have some jogger shorts, I really love this to stay at home. I'm always wearing joggers while I'm in quarantine and this color is so pretty. And the last piece is this super oversized shirt in this beautiful beautiful green, I've been so obsessed with pale green lately. Okay, really good package, now I'm gonna make my bed, so I guess I'm gonna show you guys them. So now before I get into the nail action, I want to do a little coffee and I have been doing this uh, TikTok coffee everyone is doing online, have you seen it? It's so cute, it's like milk and then super fluffy coffee on top and I've been doing that with ice cream to make it kind of a frappuccino and I really miss my frappuccinos from Starbucks so this has been the best solution I've found lately to kind of replace that so I'm gonna do it and show you guys. So first you need coffee, this is my favorite, so I don't know if you have it in your country, but it's like... So you can get any like recipient and just put like two tablespoons of coffee. And then I use like two small spoons, like teaspoons of sugar. So the water is boiled now and I'm going to add just a tiny bit. Can you see it? Just a little bit more. Yeah. Oh my god, it burns. And now that we have this, I'm going to use my cake mixer to just mix this until we have like a creamy, light texture. Okay, now I'm going to add a chunk of ice cream, like this. And I will mix it again. So now we are going to build our coffee and we are going to start with milk. You can use any type of milk that you prefer. And then we just put this on top. Let it all go in there. And there you have it. Oh my gosh, this is so yummy. Okay, so we have our coffee and now I'm going to start the nail process. So let me show you my set here. So this is what I got, this kit, which is like a gel polish kit. It basically comes with this one, which is like a top coat that also works as a base, so it's like two in one. Then it comes with this primer. And then we have two colors. This one is like a really light gray shade. And then we have a white one, which I guess we can do like French manicure or something like that. 
I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I would love to try to do marble nails, but I don't know if I'm skilled enough. Let's see. Then I got this one, which is a gel remover. And this one is to clear all the oils and fat in your nails. And then the big machine, it's this one. So I think I'm ready to start now. I removed the black nail polish with regular nail polish remover. So I want to get rid of these last pieces of gel that I still have before I apply a new one. And I'm going to use the gel remover. And what it says here in the instructions is just to use cotton pads to put on each nail and then cover with this kind of silver paper. What is the name of this in English? Foil? Foil paper? I don't know. And then you involve each nail and just wait for seven minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. And I will just put it here, involving the nail. And then just put the foil over it. I think it's fine like this. So, okay, so all nails are done and I need to wait seven minutes. So let's just wait. Okay, so seven minutes have gone by and I'm going to start removing this. It works! Oh my gosh! So I'm gonna try to use the knife now to just remove any gel that's left. Okay, so I finally removed everything, no gel, and it feels so good actually because I was just painting on top with regular nail polish trying to smooth my gel, but I always have the clear gel under there and what it feels like is kind of nasty because if you have gel for too long, like the same gel, you can get like dirt and bacteria under it and then it can create like fungus and nasty situations, so it just feels healthier this way without the gel now i'm just using this like the smoothest part so i can get my nails as smooth as possible so we have like a clear base to apply the the nail gel now i'm gonna use a little bit of this nail cleaner because if my nail has like natural oils i think it's going to be better to just remove them before applying the gel okay now let's start the real deal i'm going to start with the ultra bond primer and let it dry naturally for 60 seconds so you don't need to go into the machine right now this is actually very easy to apply okay let it dry for 60 seconds okay now i'm going to use the base coat which is also the top coat it's like a two-in-one thing okay now i'm going to put it in the machine for one minute so far so good, it's been very easy to apply this clear uh, base and they seem to be setting really well. Now I'm going to jump with the color and I'm going to use the white one. I think this is going to need two layers, but I'm not sure. Let's start with one. Because usually the white polish are a little bit transparent on the first layer. So this is how it looks after the second layer and I'm going to put it back in the UV light machine. Okay, so second layer is set and they are looking kind of good. So I'm feeling adventurous now and I want to try the marble nails. So I don't know how this is going to go. So I'm going to be using the other color that I have, which is the light gray. So basically I just start with some pattern. Like really free drawing. And then with my finger, touch it to make it blend and then I go back with a little more grey okay now I'm going to set this so these marble nails are set and before I finish my nails I want to go with a black nail polish and I'm going to use regular nail polish and I'm just going to do like a black stroke really really tiny now i'm gonna set this and apply the final coat and that's it okay guys so i finally finished my nails it took a while actually what takes the longest is just taking the gel off because then applying like the gel polish is actually very fast and easy and of course i decided to do a design so it takes a little bit longer but i just want to show you because i'm so happy with them i did like marble nails so this is the left hand as you can see it has some texture but not as much as my right hand my right hand has a little bit more texture and i feel it looks better maybe i don't know but 
Either way, I'm just so happy because I was missing this feeling of having like nail gel. You feel your nails so much stronger. I'm just addicted to gel nails. And that's it guys, actually I took longer than I thought. I thought I was going to take pictures today and do more stuff, but this took a little bit longer so I'm gonna leave that for tomorrow and I'm going to end this vlog. But yeah, let me know if you like my nails, if you think I did good or not, let me know. And thank you so much for watching this weird half vlog, half tutorial kind of video. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Love y'all.